Thank you for sharing about your favorite animals with us. We love to hear all about them. Now, before I said we were gonna talk about animal characteristics. Characteristics, that's kind of a long word, but it's actually pretty simple. A characteristic is something about a person or a thing that makes them unique, that helps you so you can sort them into different groups. For example, a characteristic about the way I look is that I have long brown hair. Now, you might have long brown hair, and that means we have something that's the same. Or you might not, and that means we have something that's different. Everything has certain characteristics. Animals also have a lot of characteristics that help us sort them. Let's sort by, hmm, animal color. So if we had two groups, we could have animals that are brown and animals that are not brown. And we can sort them into those two groups by their characteristic of color. So you can move the animals into their two groups. We could also sort animals by what they eat. Some only eat plants, while some eat meat. You can sort them into those two groups. Today, you get to do a sorting animal activity. You're gonna sort the animals by three different characteristics. To do this activity, you're going to go to the next slide. On those slides, there's going to be two boxes, each with a different characteristic and a lot of pictures of animals. Your job is to press the picture of the animal and drag it into the box it belongs based on its characteristic. Now, if it says this animal is really big, would you put a mouse in that box? Probably not, because mice are small. That's their characteristic. But an elephant is really big, so you would move it to that box. So today we're going to sort animals by characteristics. To remind you, characteristic is something like the appearance, the way something looks, or how it acts that makes it unique and allows you to sort it. All right, good luck with your sorting activity, friends.